Okay, so this is multiple choice problem five uh, from the final exam of Physics 106 from 2023-24 academic year. Here we have an inclined plane that makes an angle theta uh, with the horizontal, and we have a wire on this. That there is a current in this wire, and there's a magnetic field that's uh, uh, perpendicular to the surface of the Earth, I guess, that there's a uniform magnetic field this way. And uh, the, the wire is motionless. So suppose a connecting wire with mass m and length l, so this is the distance l, is placed on a frictionless inclined tilt at an angle theta from the horizontal, as shown in the figure. There's a uniform vertical magnetic field B at all points. In order to prevent the wire from sliding down the incline, a voltage source is attached to the so we let the current flow through it. The voltage source does not exert any force on the end of the wire. What's the magnitude of the current in the wire that will cause the wire to remain at rest? So I think it's much more helpful to draw this you know, this way, okay. so some theta. Now what will be the direction of the magnetic field uh, that's, going to, uh, that's going to prevent the wire from, from falling? So the magnetic field is going to, uh, is going to so it, it is horizontal, okay, and the wire is carrying a current this way, so these two vectors are going to form a, a plane. The force, because it's the cross product of the magnetic field and the uh, direction of the current, it's a cross product of these two vectors, it's going to be perpendicular to this plane. So it's going to be perpendicular to the magnetic field and perpendicular to the wire. Uh, so it's either this way or that way. And of course, if it's this way, it's not going to prevent it from falling down. The force is going to be, if this is my wire, the magnetic force is going to be this way. Okay? And the magnitude of this force, uh, is going to be uh, L, or sorry, capital L, I times B. Uh, the gravitational force is, of course, this way. Okay? That's just mg. And somehow, uh, that this is going to these uh, guys, along with the normal force, if normal, are going to prevent this wire from slipping down the incline. Okay? So, uh, the way to do this is, of course, to you know, make all these forces cancel each other. And uh, the way to do that is to calculate the normal force in terms of mg, and then calculate the magnetic force in terms of the uh, normal force. And we're going to figure out what the magnetic field should be from the magnitude of the uh, magnetic force. Okay, so let's try to do that. Normal force uh, is going to the opposite to normal force is going to look like this. So uh, this is theta, this is 90 degrees. So this is also theta in this diagram. I hope this can be seen, but this angle, this angle, and this angle, they are all the same because these two angles add up to 90, these two angles add up to 90, this angle must be the same as this one. But from that one, I can actually write that mg is f normal times uh, cosine theta, okay? and now if I look at this tri this triangle, of course this angle is also uh, theta. So F B is F N sine theta, okay? and I can divide these side by side. So F B over uh, M G is going to be tangent theta. So L I B is mg times tangent theta. And if I move this to the uh, other side, the current required is going to be mg tangent theta divided by L times i. Mm -hmm. L times b, sorry. And this is, in fact, the answer that's given in the answer sheet. Uh, for the multiple choice problem six of the same exam, uh, we have a magnetic field that is into the page, a uniform magnetic field like so, something like this, some magnetic field, and we have an orbit, a circular orbit of radius capital R, constant region of space with uniform magnetic field B, an electron with mass M and charge minus E, so M and minus E, enters the region and moves in the plane perpendicular to the magnetic field B, as shown in the figure. The electron rotates in a circular orbit of radius capital R in period T. What's the magnitude of the magnetic field B? 
Now, in this case, the magnetic field, magnetic force, is the uh, reason for this motion. This is uniform circular motion. The magnetic force is always perpendicular to velocity, so it's going to lead to uniform circular motion. The centripetal force, mv squared by r, is the magnetic force, which is uh, E V B. Okay? This is minus E, but it doesn't matter. We are just looking at the magnitudes here. Okay, so they're asking for, what are they asking for? Uh, what is the magnitude of the field B? So this goes away. Uh, this is going to be M V over E R, but they're not giving you V, they are giving you some other stuff. They are giving you period in particular. We can express the uh, speed in terms of the period. It's just going to be M, the circumference, uh, which is capital R, divided by the period is going to be the R, R's go away, so this is going to be 2 pi M over E times T. So this now is expressed in terms of the given quantities, and this would be choice A.